hello and welcome back to another CAD clip. In this uh, little video I'm excited to start to talk about um, massing and in fact parametric massing which is really amazing. I'm quite excited about this and what we're allowed to do now with Revit Architecture 2010 is create a parametric mass such as you know an object like this and then we can load that into a project and we can change the parameters and drive the actual shape of the mass object from within the project so effectively we can end up with you know three different variations of the exact same massing object and then we can um, create levels and uh, some scope boxes and tie the different levels to each individual instance and then we can create mass floors and then from there we can go in and start to generate some schedules um, based on the different options. So I have an option A, B and C in this particular project all from the same uh, mass um, family that's loaded and then I can um, gather exterior surface area, floor area, floor perimeter, floor volume, all kinds of stuff with some totals in there. Okay, So that's my option A and then I have another schedule down here for my option B okay and my option C so really nice and then once we have it we can use our building maker tools to add some curtain systems to each individual instance of that mass family and we can add curtain systems or walls or roofs or floors or whatever we want all to that um, individual massing object so just to go over to a 3D view here double click you can see I've got you know three different versions of the exact same massing family so if I go down here to my families and I go down to massing I can take a copy of this mass building and I can bring it in place on work plane and I can take that guy and move it over to there hit escape escape once I have that guy inside my um, project I can simply click on it and I can drive its um, um, size and shape by parameters I've built into that loadable mass family so I can say you know that this is the tower okay this is the base building and this is my entrance so I can go in and let's start with the base building we'll say well I'm gonna change this base building uh, width and it's gonna be square because of I've designed it to 165 feet okay and I'm going to change the base building height from 150 feet to be you know 140 feet make it smaller okay the entrance height the height of this little alcove inside of here I can change that to be you know 60 feet I can change the tower depth okay the tower has two different dimensions I can change it to be you know 50 feet um, deep by you know 100 feet high by um, you know 60 feet wide okay then I can change the radius of this entrance instead of being 50 feet I can change it to be you know 35 feet so I have all these nice parameters I've built into this massing object I hit OK and instantly I get a different version of that same object okay once I'm inside of there I can easily go down here and start to just create some curtain systems oops I don't want a roof on there let's use my shift button to get rid of that one and pick on here and the inside there over there so I can add quickly add curtain systems using the building maker tool okay and then say create the system and I can use different systems and different panels and all kinds of great stuff you can add patterns and all kinds of neat stuff to it so it generates that curtain system for you and then I can click out and then I can go back and say you know back to here and say well now I want to put you know a roof on there so I can pick on these two objects and again I can pick different roof types whatever I want create the roof okay and then I can go in and grab this massing object after the fact and I can say you know create some mass floor systems inside of there and I've got all kinds of different levels inside of there so I'm gonna go with my uh, maybe my my B version so grab these um, levels and we can use scope boxes to manage this as well and I can create some mass floor systems inside of there and from there I can go ahead and schedule it so you have really an unlimited amount of uh, different versions of that same parametric massing object and from there you can study that information and create all kinds of schedules and 
do whatever you want with it back in normal Revit fashion. So we can have different um, versions of the same mass object and then from there we can create elevations and sections and all kinds of stuff, schedule that information, do whatever we want with it. So um, I have to say I'm pretty excited about uh, diving into uh, more videos on parametric massing studies. Thank you.